When a neighborhood has many children in its public spaces, it's a major indicator that it is well designed as a people-oriented neighborhood. When designing a city for the most vulnerable group, the other users also thrive. This is why in three years, three universities, three commercial parties and seven cities work together towards a common goal to develop and implement bottom-up measures with children to achieve lasting behavioral change. To make neighborhoods more inclusive, active and child-friendlier. This is Metamorphosis. I would say traditionally, urban transport planning has been done by people like me middle-aged men who are also car drivers and therefore uh, our transport planning and indeed our urban environment has tended to be too car oriented and not enough orientation towards people. So the idea of metamorphosis is that we transform urban neighbourhoods to be child friendly because if the built environment can be used well by children it can be used well by everybody and then the metamorphosis idea is what we're trying to do is take ugly bug streets that are dominated by cars and transform them into beautiful butterflies where we've got streets that are a center of a, a whole range of activities to make neighborhoods more child friendly the traditional transport planners should see the urban environment through children's eyes using now as uh, inspiration but also as tools as you know using their brains uh, in order to figure out how to make things better in our cities is incredibly uh, important they haven't unlearned their rationality and logic if you design a city for kids using kids in the process that's going to be a good city for everybody it makes spaces more people oriented rather than car dominated places Besides, it improves the active mobility. Active mobility means uh, walking, it means cycling, uh, as opposed to sitting in your uh, car, in your motorized car. You'll be more healthy by obviously moving, doing, you could say, do sports, but then at the same time you uh, reduce the emissions you emit, CO2 emissions, greenhouse gas emissions in general. You would use less space because it's a, a bike or uh, uh, once you walk, you lose uh, or you use up less space in the urban fabric. You have different modes of transport that have to be integrated into a system. And obviously, for transcontinental uh, transport, you don't use a bicycle, you use a plane. No? And then you have uh, planes, then you have uh, high speed trains, then you have uh, trains, national trains, then you have commuter trains, then you have metro, then you have uh, LRTs, then you have BRTs, then you have buses, then you have taxis, then you have uh, bikes, uh, cars, and bicycles and pedestrians. And you cannot pretend to go to Beijing walking, and you cannot pretend to go to the, the next uh, town 30 kilometers away in a plane. You know? So we must understand that. None of those uh, modes is better than the other. They are best for what they have to play, the function they have to play. But what you see is that uh, people live in the center of the city and there's a lot of traffic and they get children, they try to move out because it's just not livable in the city and that's why it's so important that we make, uh, especially our cities, children friendly so that people can stay in the city and that they are a happy life. To involve children in city planning, there are several options. You could, for example, visit schools. Around schools, everybody thinks it's important that there is safety, yeah? and it's often a good idea to talk with the children because they tell their own stories. They say what they like. So we have made a, uh, we, we asked uh, children in schools how they come to school and how they would like to go to school. And many uh, are brought, brought by car, but if you ask the children, they say, yeah, we would like to come on foot or we would like to come with a bicycle, but it's not allowed. Yeah? So that's a possibility to go to the, to the schools. Uh, it's also a possibility to work with uh, parents, associations. In Graz, the Metamorphosis project created a lot of awareness. 
for, for grads. Uh, it, it's, it's the nice uh, opportunity that the youth department and the planning department uh, can, can work together and they get a view about uh, a certain perspective when they are looking on their target group because, because usually the transport departments are looking only uh, to the traffic and, and the traffic flow and they sometimes forget the needs of the residents and of the vulnerable uh, public space users. Some of the good news that arises from metamorphosis style interventions where those good that good news is in, uh, including things such as uh, children being more active, therefore being healthier, uh, a greater awareness all round of child safety and therefore reduced uh, uh, road accidents, uh, a more sustainable environment, less, less pollution, uh, etc. So there are lots of benefits. This is a, a sensible way uh, to transform our urban environments.